Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior, and today I'm very excited to be able to be bringing you guys my very first Call of Duty Infinite Warfare class setup. This class setup is going to be a very good class for ranking up, for starting the game off strong, uh, it's a very good class for just overall general play, going on decent kill streaks, getting lots of XP. So, yeah, uh, at the time of this video going up, it's actually double XP right now, which is why I thought I would make the class that I typically use at the beginning of my prestiges to, to rank up quickly. And so, yeah, without further ado, let's talk about the class. Uh, the gun that I recommend using for this is the assault rifle that you start off with. It's the NV4. You'll probably see it a lot. It's a very, very strong assault rifle. It has almost no recoil. It is a... It reminds me very much of the Modern Warfare 2 ACR, which is another assault rifle that basically had no recoil. Um, this gun, you can very easily hit people at close range, long range, medium range, it has a very consistent four or five shot kill. That's why I've chosen it. And you start off with it. So as far as attachments, uh, one of the most important things in my opinion on a class, I'm going to recommend a couple of attachments and you can switch these out depending on exactly how you want to play. Uh, but the crucial attachments for this class are one, the suppressor, which you unlock at a fairly low weapon level. And that will basically you're trading a slight uh, damage reduction at longer ranges for the ability to stay off the enemy's minimap. So with Suppressor on your class, you'll never pop up and pop up on the enemy minimap from shooting your gun, which is a very, very powerful thing. And the second attachment that I think is crucial for this, and you will have to use the weapon a little bit to unlock this, is Stock. If you guys don't know, Stock allows you to keep your full movement speed while you're aimed down sight. So you can walk around with stock and you're moving at the same speed while aimed down sight as if you weren't. And this is very powerful. It allows you to do what I'm doing a whole lot in this gameplay. And you can see that I'm just using cover very effectively, uh, presenting a small target for the enemy to hit, just pieces of my head, things like that. And then you combine that with the fact that you're walking back and forth it makes you very difficult to hit. Um, you'll see me use that a ton here to my advantage in this video, and probably in all my other gameplays, especially with assault rifles, I tend to use the stock attachment a lot. As far as other attachments, personally, um, you'll see during this gameplay, I am using the quick draw attachment. That's because I don't like, I don't mind the iron sights for this weapon. I actually think they're great, and I am a little bit higher level when I recorded this. Actually, I'm about to prestige again. So, but at a very low level, you only get to select two attachments. You have an unlocked primary gunfighter, which lets you have that extra attachment. And so, I recommend stock and suppressor for sure, so you can stay off the minimap. As far as perks, we're going to be running recon. And I'll go ahead and throw up the class on screen. I'll probably do it at the beginning of this video so that you can go ahead and see exactly what we're using. But basically we're going to be using Recon, Dexterity, Hardwired, and we're going to be using uh, Hardline. Hardline is a perk that's really interesting because when you're using Hardline, if you, if you don't know, it allows you to get 25% more score for your kills. So in Team Deathmatch, that means your kills give you 125 points instead of 100 points in domination and game modes like that, you're going to be getting 100 points per kill instead of 75. So, yeah, alongside this, you can use any combat rig you want to. At the beginning of the game, I, I recommend uh, you're going to, I think you have to start actually with Warfighter. I think it has the best starting overall kit. Basically, you're going to have the Claw, which is a super powerful weapon, as well as Ping. And every, every with ping, every time an enemy dies, whether you kill them or the enemy kills, or your teammates kill them, they're gonna show up, a little ping is gonna show up on your minimap, and nearby enemies are gonna be highlighted. So, that's really good. In this video, you'll see me using, I believe I'm using reactive armor and infusion, that's on the Merc, but you don't unlock that until later again. Uh, one thing I'd like to say is, uh, 
At a later level, I recommend switching out Hard Hardline for Scavenger. And personally, especially in Team Deathmatch, I have a tendency to use Dead Silence instead of uh, in my perk 3 slot. So that's something to keep in mind. And yeah, so let's talk about the gameplay a little bit. Uh, the gameplay that you're seeing is going to be me playing on Genesis using in Team Deathmatch. It's one of my better Team Deathmatch games. Uh, using this class. I will say I'm using, like I said, I'm using a little bit. I'm a higher rank. I'm using the Marksman perk and I'm using Scavenger, which are both not unlocked right away. I believe I'm go 36 and 6 in a Team Deathmatch game and 0 assist, which is actually a really interesting thing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the gameplay. Uh, this was my first class set of video. I hope this class helps you guys rank up quickly and to get those prestiges, you know, grinding out quick to unlock some classic weapons. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for all the support on my videos lately. And also, I recommend that you give this class set up a try. So my name has been the Newbie Warrior. Thank you for all of your support. Once again, the music in my intro is provided by Josiah Wayman fantastic artist. I'll have his link to his SoundCloud and Facebook in the description below. And always remember to stay newbie.